Hello, my most amazing kindergarten artists. I am really excited to paint with you today. We are going to use the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue to mix the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. I'm going to show you the correct way to use water and paint to make the most beautiful colors. Let's go ahead and get started painting. Before we start painting, we need to draw our mice. Just like in the story, we're gonna make three mice on our paper. I'm gonna use a Sharpie because it won't mix with the water that I'll use here in a minute. To make my mice, I'm gonna make a little dot for the nose. Then I'm gonna make two diagonal lines and a curved line. I'll make a diagonal line going out then I'll curve around for the body. Then I'll make a diagonal line coming back to the nose. Then I'll make three whiskers on each side, two little eyes, and two ears. I'll make these two ears ovals. Then I'll make a little curvy tail. I still have two more mice to go. I'll make a dot for the nose, diagonal, curve, diagonal, three little whiskers on each side, two little eyes, and this time I'll make the ears circles. And I'll make the tail have a loop I have one more mouse to go, dot for the nose, diagonal, curve, diagonal, three little whiskers on each side, two eyes, and this time I'm gonna make the ears with a straight line first and then a curve. and I'll make this a bumpy tail. If you want, you can color in the ears. I'm gonna color my ears pink, and I'm leaving the mice white, like they were at the end of the story. If you want to paint your mice like they were at the beginning of the story, that is okay too. I'm gonna use the primary colors first, red, yellow, and blue. I always like using yellow first because it's the lightest color and it gets mixed up the easiest. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the water, wipe it on the side, and then dip it in the yellow. When I use my paintbrush, I'm gonna move it in circles around, around, around on my page. When your paintbrush starts getting dry, I'm going to dip it in the water, wipe it, and I can move around that same paint. You don't always have to get more. Sometimes you just need a little bit more water. So now that I have yellow, I'm going to use another primary color, but I need to rinse the yellow off my brush. I'll go around around in a circle at the bottom of my cup, but I'm not splashing my water. Wipe off the extra and get some red. I'll move my paintbrush around in a little circle, just like that. Then I'm gonna rinse it off around around at the bottom of the cup, wipe on the side and get some blue. Gently use my paintbrush in little circles on my page and get a little bit more water and spread out the paint. 
Now that I have my three primary colors, I want to start mixing my secondary colors. I still have blue on my brush, so I'll rinse that off, wipe on the side, and I'm gonna go back to yellow. I'm gonna put down some yellow on the paper. I'm not gonna spread it out too much yet because I'm gonna dip this in, wipe it off, and get some red. I'm only gonna get a little bit of red. We usually need more yellow and just a little bit of red. And I'm gonna start mixing these two colors together just like in the story. And it's gonna start making orange, which is one of our secondary colors. If your orange still looks a little bit red, I would suggest dipping it in the water and just getting a little bit more yellow. Since I have orange on my paintbrush, I'm gonna dip it in the water, circle, circle, circle at the bottom, wipe on the side. I'm gonna use yellow one more time Looks like I need a little bit more water. It's usually, when you're mixing colors, it's good if they're wet on your paper, because then they can mix together. I'll rinse this off, wipe on the side, and just get a little bit of blue. I just kind of tapped it in there once. I'll put it right on top of the yellow, and oh my goodness, it is making a beautiful green. I might want to get a little bit more water and just spread my green out a little bit more. It looks like I have red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. I only need one more color. I'll rinse off my paintbrush, wipe it on the side. I'll use red first this time. So I'm not spreading it out too much. I'm just gonna leave it on my paper. Dipping my paintbrush in the water, wiping it on the side, gently dipping it in the blue mixing them together to make this beautiful purple. I think I might need a little bit of purple on this side too. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Dip, wipe, tap, tap in the red. Dip it in the water, wipe, tap, tap in the blue, and mix it together. I haven't gone out to the edge of my page. I'm leaving a little bit of white paper for the mice to hide in when they were hiding from the kitty cat. But if you want to bring your colors all the way to the outside, that's okay too. So now that I'm finished, I have the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And I have the three secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. Now that I'm done, I'll dump out my water and I'll leave my paintbrush to dry. And then I'll also need to leave my paint sitting out so those can dry too. I hope you've had a lot of fun painting and mixing new colors, artists. I'll see you next time.